Rise of Iron is less than a week away from release, but this week Bungie dropped a nice treat for everybody that are still currently playing the game before release of the new expansion by turning private matches on after the MLG tournament took taken place on Tuesday. Clan options here are still kind of bugged, but Bungie did tell players that they wouldn't be fully operational until after the expansion is released, so not a big deal. The private matches in Destiny, though, they're exactly what you would expect for, if you're familiar with this type of game type from any other shooter. You have complete control over the type of game that you want to play. You can control score limits, time limits, maps, game modes, all, and also whether or not the player's light level will be taken into factor with damage, similar to how Iron Banner is versus regular Crucible. You have the entire library of maps and game modes, as I said, and in my case, since I'm playing on Xbox One, I won't have any of the PlayStation exclusive, which sucks. But what this means is you can practice trials routes in a controlled environment on any map you want, for example. I also highly recommend you go into the maps by yourself or with friends just to appreciate the attention to detail put into developing them that you really don't catch while playing a real match because you're just running so quickly trying to get kills. Also, if any of the newer players that didn't get into the full map rotation that the Crucible had at the start of the game in year one, this is a great opportunity to check out some of the maps that you may have never seen before. Like I know I was in um, doing ghost hunting with, with some friends and my buddies friend he never played the game past year or two so a lot of the maps he had no idea what they were and he had never seen them before and it's just crazy to me that these maps are still out of rotation anyway off my soapbox i did notice that i was receiving a tiny bit of experience with my gear as well as my faction while i was fooling around with some friends doing elimination so that is something to take note of it was only like 17 faction experience so it was really low and i was wearing my dead orbit exotic bond for my warlock so that might have been a factor there's also a lot of community game modes that people are just inventing and putting out on sites like Reddit. So it would be really cool if uh, Bungie eventually puts in some type of community custom game hub that can be created at some point and people can share and download different games similar to how, how Halo works with the Forge. Um, but Bungie also went a step further with private matches and for the, you lore lovers out there, they put new dead ghosts in every single map in multiplayer, and you can only access them in private matches. So get to hunting. I'll put a Reddit mega thread that has all the locations and all the maps in the description below, so check that out. What, what do you guys think of the private matches, though, overall? For me, this was the second most thing that I was excited for, and it was the thing that pushed me into buying the expansion right behind the raid. So I'm really pumped that I get to mess around with it with friends even before Rise of Iron is fully released. Um, I do also have a pretty funny elimination game recorded that I had when it was released a couple days ago, so I'm hoping to cut something pretty good and short for you and maybe release it either later this week or early next week. But let me know in the comments what all your thoughts are for private matches, and are you excited for Rise of Iron? I know I'm actually pretty excited, more excited than I thought I would be. So thanks for taking the time to check out this video, and as always, I hope your day is beer and Skittles.